Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a very nice equation problem with complex numbers. I don't know what you want to call it. Now what is a complex number? Z is a complex number and if you are new to complex numbers go ahead and check out my lecture videos where you find basics of complex numbers. If you like algebra, number theory, trigonometry, then go ahead and check out cyber math, my other channel, cyber with an S. Great, so we're given a quadratic equation, z squared plus mz equals n, z is the variable, m and n are constants, and we are given that z sub one is equal to two minus i. What is that supposed to mean? It means one of the solutions to this equation, I say one of the solutions because this is quadratic and it's supposed to have two complex solutions, right? And one of them is two minus i. But there's also addi an additional piece of information which I did not include in the, you know, what is it called? Thumbnail or something? Maybe I'll include it in title. title. But m and n are rational numbers, okay? That's an important thing because if they are not, then it's a different story. For example, if they are complex, that's a totally different story. So, how do we solve a problem like this? We're given one of the solutions, so we're not going to solve for it. Are we going to solve for it? Maybe we can try to find the other solution, or we can try to solve the equation directly. Let's start with that. We have z squared plus mz, and I'm also going to show you some results from Wolfram Alpha, if I don't forget. Sometimes I get too excited and forget to show you. Subtract n from both sides, and if I sound a little weird, it's because I have sore throat, and I have a headache, but I still wanted to do the video because it's not super bad. Hopefully it's gonna get better. Uh, so send your best wishes. So we have this equation and to solve it, we can use the quadratic formula. Negative B plus minus the square root of B squared minus four AC, that's gonna give us a plus sign, so on and so forth. Great, but what is that supposed to mean? Well, if one of the solutions is given, maybe we can set z equal to that, like z1. Which one is z sub 1? Well, this seems to have two solutions if you separate them. Have you ever thought about it? Because these equations are kind of symmetrical around the, what is it called? Uh, the, what's that special point? I forgot. Vertex, yes. So one of them is this one, and the other one is the one with the minus sign in the middle, right? Don't worry, it's a plus sign under the radical all the time. So one of these should equal 2 minus i, right? Does that, doesn't that make sense? But the million dollar question is, which one? <laughs> and we can tell. If we know that a radical cannot be negative, like this, because m and n are rational numbers, which means they are real numbers, so this is a real valued radical. So we need to go with the minus sign, therefore this one. So this is equal to two minus i. How's that helpful? Let's find out. Negative m minus the square root of m squared plus four n equals two minus i. By the way, did I say that this is going to be real? m and n are real? I think they are because they're rational, right? But that doesn't mean m squared plus four n is real. What, what is that supposed to mean? Well, we can have something like this. Negative 2 squared, oops, I wrote cubed, plus 4 times negative 5. Think about it. This is 4 minus 20, which is negative 16. Uh-oh, that happens to be a perfect square somehow. And this is plus minus 4i, right? Uh-oh, maybe that's where we get the i from, because this can't be i, right? It's real, so maybe this needs to equal i. How is that possible, though? Well, let's go ahead and set it equal to i and find out. If it's equal to i because they both have minus sign, I can just eliminate that and square both sides. That'll give you the solution. m squared plus 4n is equal to i squared. Ah, did I forget to tell you? i squared is negative 1 because a complex number can be written as a plus bi where a and b are real numbers and i is the square root of negative 1, the principal square root. Make sense? So it's negative 1. So don't ever forget that i squared is negative one. You may forget everything else, okay? Now, we also know that this is the real part because that's the only real part left. So m is negative two. Beautiful, because this system is very easy to solve. Let's plug it in. 
negative 2 squared is 4. 4 plus 4n is equal to negative 1. 4n is equal to negative 5. n is equal to negative 5 fourths. Uh-oh. Is that the answer? Well, looks like it. Wait a minute. What are we solving for? Oh, I forgot to say that. Sorry about that. M and N, that's what we're solving for. I mean, you could also solve for Z sub 1, I mean Z sub 2, because we already know Z sub 1, but that's another story which we're going to look at in the second method. Did I say this is the first method? Probably forgot to say that too. Anyways, this is the first method, and we're going to look at another method. So we got N and M, and that way we got our equation. Here's one thing that you can do. Maybe I made a mistake, right? Who knows? So we can go ahead and plug it in, Z squared plus mz, which is minus 2z, or not 2z, equals n, which is negative 5 fourths. Now, there's a couple of ways to go about it. You can put everything on the same side and use the quadratic formula, or you can complete the square, which is fun, right? Add 1 to both sides, you're going to get 4 fourths, that's negative 1 fourth, uh-oh. That means z minus 1 squared is half of i squared, because i squared is negative 1, remember that? If you square 1 half, you get 1 fourth, i squared brings a negative 1, get it? So from here we get z equals, or z minus 1 equals, rather, plus minus 1 half of i, and then from here z becomes 1 plus minus 1 half of i. Wait a minute, you found different values. No, no, those are m and n values. This is the equation. So, wait a minute. Aren't one of the equations supposed to be 2 minus i? This is like 2 plus minus i divided by 2, but I don't know. I must be missing something. I don't know what it is exactly. To be honest with you, um, should I try adding one to it? Okay, I already did that. Okay, it's weird. I don't know. I'm probably messing up somewhere. I don't know what it is, but I'm just going to leave it up to you to figure out because I need to go with the second method. Okay, so we have z squared. Hopefully, second method will clarify this because it looks like I made a mistake, and that's for you to find out. One of the solutions is 2 minus i. This is a critical piece of information. If you have an equation with real coefficients, the complex roots are complex conjugates. The non-real complex roots, I mean. In other words, if a plus bi is a solution, then a minus bi is also a solution. Why? From Vieta's formulas. If you add these, you get a real number. If you multiply them, you get a real number. And that's what you need. So, if z sub 1 is 2 minus i, z sub 2 should be 2 plus i, which is the complex conjugate of 2 minus i. So, those are the roots, and now I can use Vieta's formulas one more time. But let's go ahead and put everything on the same side first. And what is z sub 1 plus z sub 2? It's negative b over a. It's supposed to be negative m. And notice that the sum of these two things is 4. So, from here, m becomes negative 4. Yay! And then the product is c over a, remember we have the formulas, which is negative n, and their product is 2 plus i, if you multiply these two things, you get sum of 2 squared, which is 4 plus 1, which is 5, so from here, n becomes negative 5, so negative 4 and negative 5 are the acceptable values, uh oh, I don't know where I got this from, there's probably, okay, you know what, this doesn't have to be i, I think we messed up, oh yes, I forgot to divide by 2, that's why. Okay, anyways, you can figure out the rest. You can multiply both sides by 2 as well, because there was a 2 here. So just set it equal to that, and you should be fine. But anyways, I found it for you. Sorry about that. I was just curious, and, but I, I'm not giving you the details. But you hopefully can figure it out. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to check out a plus bi, cyber math, and bye-bye.